In second place, a driver who's shown us his battling qualities throughout the week. He had to work hard for the Vice Championship. From the Netherlands, it's Janel Esmaier. But what can you say about the champion? He went out in his first heat. He had further problems to contend with. He had to start from down the grid. But after 18 laps, he was well clear. Your champion is Harry Webb. If you can hold that, I'll hold the two mics. Well, to acknowledge the victory of Harry Webb, we should play the national anthem of the United Kingdom. Thank you. It's Yes, the national anthem of the United Kingdom recognising Harry Webb's victory. Once again in third place, Parker Thompson, the vice champion, Yano Esmeyer, and the champion, Harry Webb. Here we go. When they're presenting them. So, if I'm not mistaken, we've got uh, the guys doing photos presently. As soon as I get the nod, we'll move forward to seniors. Well, yeah, now as my looking, if you can get a little bit more of the fizz out. And the photographer's still wanting to do a little bit more. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Parker Thompson from Canada, Jana Esmai from the Netherlands, and your champion, Harry Webb from the United Kingdom. So we move on to the seniors class. We move on to the seniors class. And uh, after that very, very fine race, Lead changing hand, I think it was four times. Four drivers well in with a shout, but at the end of 21 laps, coming home in third place from the United Kingdom was Oliver Hodgson. Once again, not sure if we've got an indication I should be going ahead. I'm calling Ollie Hodgson to the podium. I'm being told to not do so. When Max is over, you can go down there. There's some, there's a sound speaker. Lot. When Max is over, just go to the podium and there's a micro there with, with the speakers. Presentation. Sorry for the little delay, guys. You understand. I like talking, really. <laughs> it was a great race, the senior race. One of the best we've had in the Rotax Grand Finals for some time. Several changes of lead. At the end of 21 pulsating laps in third place from the United Kingdom was Oliver Hodgson. Oliver Hodgson was... Oh, I was going to put all three on there first. You can start calling this In second place, a driver who's no stranger to the podium on the Rotax Grand Final stage, it's Edward Brand. But ladies and gentlemen, we've set a lot of records here this weekend. And another one coming up now for the first time in 13 editions of the Rotax Grand Finals. We have an Irish champion. Ladies and gentlemen, your senior champion is Charlie Eastwood. Well, 
the trophy to the champion is being presented by Mr. Andre Coat, the project leader of BRP. Mr. Robert Gumpenberger of Rotax presented the trophy to uh, Ed Brand and Mr. Gildas Marion of Sodicart presented the trophy to Ollie Hodgson. To acknowledge this historic occasion of an Irish victory, we shall play the national anthem of the Republic of Ireland. about the second verse. Ladies and gentlemen, your senior podium comprised Dave, uh, Oliver Hodgson in third place, Ed Brand the vice champion, and Charlie Eastwood the rather wet champion. And I have many friends in Ireland and I've heard the National Anthem of Ireland played many times. I've never heard it quite played like that, but never mind. Two masters next. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but these people are on and then the yeah. Do you want to do Nations before DD2? Is that what you're saying? No. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. One, two, three. Okay, guys. Just before we do the DD2 Masters Trophy presentation and the DD2 Open presentation, we want all drivers in the teams of the UK of Canada and Australia because after the two DD2 podium presentations we shall do the Nations Cup presentation. But we move on now to the DD2 Masters and the DD2 Masters was a historic event in many many ways. Ladies and gentlemen in third place I said in commentary several times this is just an occasional driver. He led the final he battled away throughout and he's made the podium in third place from the United Kingdom, it's David Griffiths. <laughs> Breaking another record. This is the 13th edition of the Rotax Grand Finals. 
The vice champion has been in nine of them. A former champion from Canada, it's Scott Campbell. But ladies and gentlemen, another piece of history for the first time ever at a Rotax Grand Finals. Somebody collecting a third title from South Africa. It's Cristiano Magado breaking the record. And Okay, well, we do trophy presentations before the uh, national anthem then. Not normally what we do. This is Mr. Jorn Haas presenting the trophy to our third place driver, David Griffiths. Jorn Haas, who I said in commentary, the only driver in karting to win a world championship as a driver and as a chassis manufacturer. Presenting the trophy to Scott Campbell, the record-breaking Canadian, it's Arnaldo Frias from Corridash. But very significantly, presenting the trophy. No? Who is going to deliver the prize? This one? Yes. But who's doing this one? This man. This one. Okay, we've got a change of presenter of the trophy. It's uh, the Secretary of State for Youth and Sport, Mr. Alexandra Mestre, to present the trophy to our champion, Cristiano Magado. Mr. Alexandra Mestre, the Secretary of State here in Portugal. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the most successful nation in the Rotax Grand Finals is South Africa, and we acknowledge Cristiano Magado's victory by the playing of the national anthem of South Africa. So are these right? This is how going to do them. Yeah. Already done it. Yeah, well, ladies and gentlemen, like I said on the Irish national anthem, I've heard the South African anthem several times. That was a slightly different version. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, two of our most successful drivers in the Rotax Grand Finals, plus an occasional club racer making up the podium. That's the beauty of Rotax, the beauty of the Rotax World Challenge. David Griffiths, the Vice Champion Scott Campbell, and our champion Cristiano Magado. Cristiano Magado, I remind you, won his first title in 2003, so his title winning spans nine years. Scott Campbell overtaking Christophe Boisclair 
overtaking Jan Andreasen of Denmark, now the sole leader at the top of appearances in the Grand Finals, with an amazing 9 out of 13. Well done, Scott. Thanks. Well, we move now to the DD2 Open class, or DD2 if we call it, and uh, just being asked to double check that the drivers are here. Okay, it's not really the time to start having an analysis, but I'm just going to say terribly bad luck to Belgian driver Zen Derua. But after 21 laps of the DD2 race to close our program, it was a Belgian who made the podium. In third place, it's the European champion, Matthias Detij. In second place, from Latvia, once again, good to see a Baltic driver, the Baltic champion, the vice champion here, it's Konstantinos Kalko. Got it wrong. Konstantinos actually said that slightly wrong. But ladies and gentlemen, if this race had have been run an hour earlier, your champion would have created history. As it is, he was equaling history being made because as with Cristiano Magado, this is a third title from your champion, Ben Cooper. And where Ben Cooper differs from Sir Cristiano Magado, Cristiano Magado's only won titles for South Africa, Ben Cooper's won titles for Great Britain and Canada. And to acknowledge Ben's victory, we shall play the national anthem of Canada. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> It's a matter of respect, it's a protocol in motorsport. <laughs> sure if we've faded down the Canadian National Anthem, I think we perhaps have, or maybe we've not. Say again please sir. Oh it's a 12, <laughs> it's a 12 minute National Anthem. Ladies and gentlemen there are burgers and coffees available but we will play the 12 minutes of the Canadian National Anthem. Guys, absolutely no disrespect intended by me. I have the greatest of respect for your champion and for Canada. Well done. Well, to present the trophy to our third place driver, Matthias Detige, we have Mr. Martin Henschel of Mac One. Mr. Martin Henschel of Mac One stepping forward, accompanied, of course, by one of the Rotax lovely ladies. Handshakes for everybody, including the champion. Thank you, Martin. To present the trophy to the vice champion, Constantinos Calco, we invite Mr. Paolo Pinheiro, a director of the Autodromo Algarve, to step to the podium. And polite applause from the drivers. Well done, guys. Mr. Mr. Paolo Pinheiro, director of the Autodrome Algarve. So who is the champion? And ladies and gentlemen, how appropriate is this? BRP, Bombardier Recreational Products, of course, is based in Canada. You've got a Canadian champion, and their chief executive officer, Mr. Jose Boisjoli, will make the presentation to Mr. Ben Cooper, the champion in DD2. Thank you, Mr. 
Jose Brajoli. Okay, I'm being asked again to call all drivers from the UK, from Canada and from Australia to the podium because that will be the Nations Cup presentation to close our podium ceremony. Once again, Matthias De Tige, Konstantinos Kalko and Ben Cooper. Ben Cooper winning a world title for two nations, Great Britain and Canada, and of course the Cooper family, a double world champion. His dad, Ben Senior, was a national hot rod champion. Go for it, Matthias. Get your own back on them. Well, I... Are you... Are you... I used to be a fan of those guys, but uh, oh, yeah. after the shower, maybe they're just guys who I meet when I do my job. Thank you very much. Sorry. So, ladies and gentlemen, as Matthias de Tige, Konstantinos Kalko and Ben Cooper leave the podium, okay. all, all of our Nations Cup winners are here. Do we have the numbers? It would be nice to uh, advise of the numbers. Jill has the numbers. Well, it is a former Nations Cup winner that has won again, and the two nations on the podium have been on the podium before. In third place, with 1,229 points, it's the guys from down under, Australia. Good on you guys. The Australians making the way to the third step of the podium. Well, it's nice and warm and sunny in Oz right now. It's a little bit cooler where the vice champions are. With 1,275 points, your runners-up are Canada. Well done, guys. Scotty Campbell, nine appearances in a Rotax Grand Finals. Well, there's just about room to get the winners up there if they don't bring too many of them in. I think there's at least half a dozen of them, though. Ladies and gentlemen, winning the Nations Cup once again, the 2012 Nations Champions in Rotax, the United Kingdom. 1,355 points. And head coach, Mr. John Gravett, correctly joining them on the podium. Okay, okay, <laughs> A crowded podium. Well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, let us acknowledge the victory of the Nations Cup winners by the playing of the national anthem of the United Kingdom. Do we know who the present presenters are? Yeah. Robert, the second one. So this is Danny Lapointe. Yeah. Executive Vice President, Design Innovation. Yeah. Then Robert. It's yeah. National Anthem of the United Kingdom fades away and we ask Mr. Danny Lapointe, the Executive Vice President, Design and Innovation, to present the third place trophy to the Australians.
Mr. Robert Gumpenberger of Rotax will present the runners-up trophy to Canada. And the Nations Cup will be presented by Mr. Francois Tremblay, Director of BRP Powertrain, to the United Kingdom team. Francois Tremblay, Director of BRP Powertrain, the parent company of Rotax. And that looks like uh, Guan, Guan Yu Zhou. <laughs> Well, guys, it's a United Nations effort, isn't it? Ben Cooper wins a title for Canada when he was born in the UK. Why don't we let Guan Yu Zhou from the People's Republic of China receive the nation's trophy? Well... Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your patience as we got a little bit of a slow start to the trophy presentations. Thanks for coming along to the presentation. Really do appreciate it. And congratulations to the Nations Cup winners, United Kingdom. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> we're going to dance for you, Ken. Yeah, we're going to dance for everyone, everyone left. <laughs> What did it say? They wanted. They wanted to do a dance. But everybody left. Okay. And who's that top? Yeah. Thank you. It's terrible, but there we go. Right. Um, the. Uh, who does this go back to? Thank you very much for everything. Thank you.